hola and shalom. And if you're watching this on a Saturday, Shabbat Shalom. I'm Rebellia and we are back with some more crash landing. Um, we have, oh my gosh, I have done so much on here. Um, okay. I got us a little bit of wood caught up. I've also completed the fencing all the way around. Our area is almost completely safe. Now, let me fix my tools real quick and I will be able to show you the, um, the yard and such of what I have done from the outside. So, let me get this out, get this out, get our knife out just in case. Okay, so as you can see, I got the fences all around. I had to put torches up there because mobs were able to spawn on top of the wall. And I plan to spread them all the way around, and that'll help provide light as well. And, uh, yeah, so I've got a little bit of a dirt patch over here that I have started. And as soon as I get some grass seeds, we're going to start growing grass. And eventually I want to fill this entire area in with grass. So, uh, let's check the book, because we should be getting somewhere where we... Ooh this Ooh. oh this is how we start that the pressure tank thing okay not that your immediate needs are t um i think they meant now that your immediate needs are taken care of it is time to start building the technology you will need to survive here for the long term to that end you will need a new form of metal this is simple. Just go smelt some ore into iron ingots. Okay, well, I need eight. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's grab this. Go ahead and do that. And let's see. Uh, that's ten. Awesome. Uh, okay. That, like that. Okay. See how our generator's doing. It's doing good. Our shell is doing good. Now I've got this um, charging up. I decided to break up the block and have it on the other side of the generator. This, of course, is completely charged. I do have some water stored up in there for kind of emergency type of deal. And I started stockpiling water, <laughs> as you can see. So. Uh, oh. My camera pack was fuller than I thought. Okay, while uh, that is smelting, let's go up here. No, 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 don't hit me. Die, 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 Skelly. Die, Skelly. Die, Skelly. Oh, come on, you can just finish burning already. Let's see if we can get this spider to come after us. There we go. And there is another spider over here. There we go. All right, we got that. Now let me take this one and this. Oh, not that one. And this one out. Should have just taken the one out, but we need to get these bones because I have actually been running low on bone meal. And we need that so that we can start growing more crops and get the food situation under control. So let me grab these real quick. And now let's run over here as fast as we possibly can. <laughs> Not very fast. And let me grab the fence. Do that and that. And then grab the dust and put that there okay so let me try to squeeze in here and <laughs> oh my gosh I feel like I'm going so slow uh, okay good we got an apple we got an apple like that all right okay so let me grab these maybe we can make a fruit salad and that will actually help our hunger a lot more 
than what one little apple would do. Okay. Well, I thought it would. Okay. Go ahead and empty these out again. I know they probably won't despawn as much as I think, but I'd rather just go ahead and keep them around and not lose our resources. Which, speaking of that, uh, I did say last time that we wanted to try to automate this. I have a way to do that. Just need this. Now, um, hmm. Figure out where we want this to be. We do have these, so we can go ahead and turn this quest in. Step two, uh, what? Uh, next up, you will need some TNT. You should have plenty of gunpowder by now, and you can hammer cobblestone into gravel, and then hammer that to get the sand you need. What are they? What? Okay, we are definitely going out of our base to do this. So we need four sand. I think I've got that stone. Oh, I've got the cobblestone on me. Duh. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I have a hammer on my person as well. One, two, three, four. Um, I hope they are not leading me astray. Because this is kind of scary. I mean, seriously, we're fighting to survive and they want me to blow something up? Okay. Gunpowder here. Like that. Alright, so let's place this here. And I think everybody knows how to make gunpowder. Or I mean TNT on that. Okay, so we got the TNT. Third step. I suggest going a little way from your base for this one. Dig a hole, drop the iron in it. Place the TNT next to the iron, ignite the TNT, and then stand back. When the smoke clears, you should see you now have some compressed iron. Okay. Well, before we do that, let me grow a few more apples. Because apparently my food is a lot lower than I thought it was. I actually got some jerky here. Need to replace that. Okay, that there, that there. Okay, place that there. Oh, good, this is also 100%. We have diminishing returns going on, so that's going to lower how much health we actually uh, get from our food. So the more we eat, the less it, the less it fills you. All right, so let's go do this dangerous task. Um, let's go this way, I think. Um, I'm a little nervous about this. Come on, can't we just do this peacefully? Okay, said so next to it, so get here. So uh, let's go one more. Um, so we need, set eight, so, there's eight, um, you know what, I didn't make a flint and steel, crap, that's simple though, this, Uh, we need a flint. Okay, and then it's just one iron and one flint. Huh? What? What did I do? Did I mess up the recipe? Oh, I've got it backwards. Okay. There we go. Didn't know that mattered. Okay, let me grab these. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Now we're going to do this. 
I want to say I'm doing this under protest, I do not think this is a good idea. survived. Grab all this dust. I can use it later. <laughs> Five compressed iron ingots. Nice. So, apparently you do get stuff for blowing things up. That's new. Uh, huh. Let's check this out. Okay, so now we get 16 more. Heat up. Okay. Now that you have compressed iron, time to get building. The most basic component, but the most necessary. Pressure tube. Okay. Pressure tube. Is this it? No, that's the air grate. Here we go. Need two compressed iron and a piece of glass. I could have sworn I just heard a, a skelly or something. Maybe yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can do that now. Um, what am I doing that for? Okay. Oh, I did also find out if we put ingots in here, we will get the dust that we need. I had not even, I don't know why I didn't think about that in the last episode, but I tried it just to see if it would work, and sure enough it did. Okay, so we need gravel, I mean cobble, and let me grab my s stick, okay, thought I had more than that. Okay, let's grab these. This. There we go. And let's just go ahead and grind down the gravel. That should turn it into. Yeah, we're needing sand, not not uh, gravel. Duh. Okay, so keep working that a little bit more. Should only need one, right? Okay, we got two, so then we can smelt that, and you know what, actually, yep, I had a couple pieces right there, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh, I had some gravel in this, I forgot. Okay, let's do that, and you know what, I really need chest right here. Do we have one? No, I do not. Of course not. Why would I do that? I'm not smart. Why would I do the smart thing and already have a chest made? Okay. Two. Let's go ahead and that. Let's do that. Okay. So now we can throw all of this in here. That out. All right, we got our glass. So we need one piece of glass. That. Okay, that makes four of them. Why do we need four of them? Okay, so now we need an air compressor. This will generate compressed air when fed any solid fuel. Charcoal is probably easiest for now, although I'd recommend against using blocks of charcoal. Be careful not to add too much pressure to the system. If you push the system into the red zone over five bars of pressure, things could explode. The compressor can be set to respond to a redstone signal so you can turn it off as needed using a lever. This can also be automated, but that is another quest. Okay, so now we need an air compressor. Okay, it's right here. Okay, we need a furnace. So, pretty simple little recipe here. Do this, and then do this, that, and that, maybe. Oh, okay. I 
was close. There's our air compressor. So. Uh, ooh. Okay, I remember this piece was somewhat important. I don't remember how important. Okay. Hold up. Let me close this quick so we don't have any unexpected visitors. This in here. Okay. A pressure gauge tube is very handy. Not only does it measure the bars of pressure in your system, it also emits a redstone signal of a strength twice that of the pressure it detects. With very little thought, you should be able to use this to automate your air compressor to keep the system at safe pressure levels. As a warning though, the compressor will not stop instantly. It must fully assume the fuel consume it was uh, the fuel it was burning first. Remember that you can't have any open ends in your tubing or all your pressure will leak out. Okay. Need this. Oh, that's easy. I just out of curiosity, I wonder. I would it take. Oh. Well, that was a simple recipe. Okay, let's do this. And one of these. So that takes care of that. It gives us a few more ingots, putting pressure to work. Now, So now you can generate pressurized air. What do you do with it? The most basic thing is making a pressure chamber. Almost all the basic building blocks of pneumatic craft are made there. Check any eye as usual for the needed recipes. Start with a 3x3 three three pressure chamber you will need. 25 pressure chamber walls or pressure chamber windows and one pressure chamber valve. Simply build a 3x3 three three cube leaving the very center block open. The pressure chamber valve must connect to the air block in the middle. Window, chamber valve, wall. Okay. Chamber wall. Okay. So there's that. That's all again, very simple. And oh, where am I grabbing that? Okay, there's that. Oh, please don't require a whole lot. You don't have enough ingots. You're telling me I could oh boy. Telling me I've got to go and compress more with more dynamite. Ooh, this is not going to be fun. Okay. That. I missed a couple pieces, didn't I? Okay, well, I guess as soon as it turns daylight, we'll be doing that. Because I don't want to do that in our base. That would be oh, nerve-wracking. Okay, so we'll fill these up while we're doing this. And let's see. This is kind of crazy. But let's throw this in here. And I guess while we are waiting for daylight to come by, we can go ahead and make the TNT that we will need. Um, smelt the iron that we will also need. And then... Let's see. Okay. Not enough of that. Okay, let me see if we got any ingots. No. Oh, we do have a little bit of dust, though. That's a good thing. So let's throw that in there. Now let's go ahead. These are done already. I keep forgetting how fast these are. Some more leaves. Okay. 
So let's grind up one more sand. <laughs> and we'll see if we can try not to blow ourselves up. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Alright, let's see how we're doing. We, got, we need two more, minimum. Oh, so, I hope you guys are actually enjoying this series uh, as much as I am, because I am totally having fun with this. I wish I had figured this grinder out in the last episode, but I guess I'm just not smart enough. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, and every day you learn something new. As long as you learn something, then the day is not wasted. That's what I uh, was raised on. Yeah, let me fill these up again. So we won't be able to grass our area if we don't have the stuff we need. Let's do that. Okay. Now, those are. Okay, we've got a little bit of iron. And let's throw this in here again. I really need to get some food figured out. Hmm. Oh, and my water's low. Crap. I am just running behind, apparently. Okay, so let's do that. And... Ooh, our cantaloupes are ready. Yay. Which only does one. Oh, I need it. Okay, I had actually forgotten that I planted the cantaloupe, so... Let's uh, grab these, and we will turn a couple of these into fruit salads. And let me grab this. Oop, nope, 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 that only did, that does zero. That would not be any good. Would not do us any good at all. So. This that fills me up there. And what? Okay. So looks like it's turning daylight. <sighs> About time to go out and compress some more. And back away. There we go. Hopefully most of that survived. Five. Okay, so we only lost two. That's not bad. There we go. So now let's run back over here and see if we can finish that out, because I don't know if that was enough or not. We probably needed a little bit more. Yeah, because we need eight. Only got six. Crap. Okay, well, we gotta wait for this to find us enough iron to finish that. Or do we? Wait a minute. How is the valve made? Yeah, yeah, we need eight. Okay. So let's see what else we can do in basic survival. Um, <laughs> oh, I killed all the skellies that I needed. Now I just need to kill the zombies. And I only need one more of those. Sweet. We get all of this. Our choice. Okay. Alright. Well, for now, let's get this uh, Seaver automated where I'll automatically put things into the chest. Well, you know what? We can go ahead and get everything set up for the seeding. Um, and then just, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so where do we want to put this? Um, I'm thinking right about here. So we need two. So yeah, and then we go down here, 
Wait, why am I digging down? I need to build up, not dig down. Alright. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. Forgetting how you make this thing is what it is. Okay, so... Do something like this. Alright. And then... Oh, crap. I need more cobble. I don't want to build with dust. It's getting annoying. I am sick of dust. So let me grab a little bit of cobble real quick, and then we will finish out the sifter. Okay, so I think we got enough cobble this time. So what we want to do is we want to build this up. Okay. I guess I could have put it right... What? Yeah, let's do that. We'll use the wall as part of the um, contraption because that'll cut down on the cobble that we need. And, I mean, we're going to be replacing the wall with cobble or something later anyway. So now we that like that. And then what we do is we need to take out these bottom two. That will also help conserve. Okay, so I'll be taking this level, or this row, out soon. Um, so now what we need to do is we come in here, and let's take out our autonomous activator. Why is this taking forever? Please don't break. Okay. <laughs> Something got worried it was going to break. Okay. Do that. Throw all this in here. Um, do we have... Yes, we have enough to do our last iron that we need. Come on, put it down. Thank you. There we go. So let me take this out because we're just doing one block. Alright, so now what we want to do on our sifter and our autonomous activator and it's already getting dark again. We want to place that there. Place that there. Um, uh, I might want to build a hatch. Uh, how do you build a hatch anyway? Something like that? No. Um, how do you do that? Is it a hatch or a trap door? It's a trap door. Sorry. I've been playing another game where the exact same thing is called a hatch. Okay. Let me go to the crafting table real quick. Make ourselves a trapdoor. There we go. Got that. Let me grab this real quick because that'll be everything we need there. So we need, definitely need the hopper, and then we need another chest, because this is going to be a lot of stuff. Okay. Yes. Uh, apple. Okay. Oops. Okay. I'm trying to hurry, and that, does, that never bodes well. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put the trapdoor here. And this will make it where we can you know, get into this, where we can access it. So what we want to do before we close this up is we want to do that. And then we place this here like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You are not supposed to go that far. Uh, grab this. Oh, please don't mess up my lava. Okay. Good. Alright. Okay, so. As you can see, it's already sending the stuff down. Okay. What we want to do is we want to place our chest here. And then... Dang it. Take this block out and shh, take our hopper 
shift right click there so that it goes into the chest and now everything should float all the way down fall into the hopper and it shows up here that is how you fully automate the sieving in crash landing so i'm going to take out this row and that will compact that down where it looks pretty good so Hopefully that teaches you guys a trick that will help you if you decide to try this out for yourself. Uh, my timer just went off, so I am out of time for this episode, guys. I'm sorry if it seems like a little bit shorter of an episode, but uh, I record for 45 minutes and then I trim that video down to try to fit between 20 and 30 minutes. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, timer says uh, time to say goodbye. So, I want you all to have fun. Maybe experiment with this. See if you can put your own little spin on it. Because, oops, yeah, that's real smart there. Uh, see if you can put your own little spin on it. Maybe you can come up with some ideas to make it look prettier, um, nicer, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, just have fun with it. So, you guys experiment with that, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!